Welcome back to the channel and I got another recap for you guys. This time it's Put a Ring on It Season 2 Episode 1, No Rules, No Boundaries. So before we jump into this video, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. If you like the video, smash the like button and drop a comment down below. So let's talk about this new season of couples. And the first one we're going to talk about is Jay and LaRonda. So, as we know with Miss LaRonda, she is a super successful woman who is pretty much constantly leveling up her life. And Jay is a successful comedian. Now, LaRonda is the top earner in the relationship, which makes Jay kind of want to hit the brakes on marriage. Because before he proposes and walk down the aisle with LaRonda, he wants to make sure he can meet LaRonda halfway financially. However, she thinks that's a bunch of excuses and he should be able to do that now. Now, here's my statement on that. If you find that after, especially they've been dating for three years now, they find or he figures that he's not financially ready and he want to make sure that they're in a good place, that's something to consider. On the flip side, she also, I guess, with those two living together, she knows what the finances look like. So in her mind, maybe they are at a good place and he is just making whatever excuses as she says. I don't know, but as the season progresses, we will definitely find out. So now as Dr. Nicole stated, the guys turned this week to go on dates and they were playfully running to the door because jay's date is has arrived and um this young lady she's a pretty girl however she um she seemed to be really sweet um and then of course with when it came to LaRonda, i didn't know what to expect from her you know because most you would see sometimes in most situations you know the girlfriends ain't too comfortable with their guy going out with another woman but she seemed pretty laid back and pretty calm about it, you know. So that was pretty interesting to watch. And as uh, Jay said, Jay was like, mm, I got to get this girl up out of here because LaRonda is going into coach mode. And she definitely was. She was like, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. As if she was trying to get to know the girl. However, she did say that it made her feel a little bit some kind of way. You know, again, this is a guy that she's been with for three years and he, you know, is going out on a date with another woman. So even though she wasn't over the top upset or emotional, it touched her a little bit. So let's talk about Jay's date, though. Now, this girl, she's really pretty. She's very sweet. Um... She definitely thought it was exciting that he is a comedian because that's the type of person that, you know, she's looking for. And honestly, he thought it was a little bit too perfect. Now, I don't know if, and sometimes I know you guys probably heard of the statement, people, when you first meet them, put on their representative, and so maybe that's what he was referring to because, I mean, they hit it off too well, too quickly within that hour. Now, remember, Dr. Nicole did say that they lined them up with folks who they're requesting or who they think they might like. So obviously they put him with somebody that they thought that he would be extremely compatible with. So for him to say it's a little bit too perfect, I guess he didn't, he wasn't expecting this like this. So, but I honestly think he really wasn't into her. And with her being, I guess, over the top, sweet, and nice. And she even went to the point of taking a little napkin or whatever and wiping his face. And, you know, he was like, yeah, this is a little bit too perfect. How's everything lining up? You know, so, but you know, hey, you got to be careful of what you ask for, right? So, Dr. Nicole now sits down with all of the couples, but since we're talking about Jay and LaRonda, um, the question was, 
are you going to see this young lady again? And he said, no, you know, I don't want another date with her. I'll, you know, just find me somebody else differently next time because she was just too perfect. So I don't know if she, he thought that she just wasn't authentic. She was putting on her representative, but uh, he didn't choose her to go out with again. The other thing is Miss LaRonda. She was pretty calm and cool and collected about this whole thing. Of course, she's probably happy that he's not going out with her again. But the thing is, is that, you know, her reaction is not typical of what we would see with their man going out with someone else. So we'll see what happened in the future with this couple. So now let's talk about Darian and Alexia. And from what we know, um, this couple has been dating on and off for 14 years. I mean, even after they were dating for 10 years out of those 14 years, they finally moved in together. Um, he definitely doesn't seem so excited about walking down the aisle with Alexia. But Alexia is putting pressure on, on him. Now, here's my, my, my thing with this here, right? I mean, she is, first of all, let's get the preliminaries out the way. She's a professional basketball player. He's an entertainer. So probably part of the reason they've been on and off is that they travel a lot. When you're in those types of industries and things, you travel a lot. They definitely seem like they're fun together. But my question is, is anything deep there? Because, I mean, after 14 years, somebody should know something. And even at this point, he's still not ready after year 14 and she has to push him. That's not a good sign at all. And there's a couple other things that we also saw this episode with Darion. And um, we'll talk about that in a bit. But um, he seemed pretty excited to be going on a date and everything. She definitely was not. This is usually the typical reaction or response that you would, you know, of course, see with a woman who, you know, got a, a significant other going out with another woman, right? But my question is, is Darian out here for the right reasons? I don't know. It's just... It's interesting how he displays himself. So he gets ready to go on his date. And yeah, Alexia is not feeling it. He's like, yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm excited. You know, I actually get the chance to go out on a date while I'm in another relationship. I, yeah. So I'm wondering with him, you know, is there twofold? Is this opportunity to date and also the opportunity to get some exposure? I don't want to put that on him. It'll manifest itself. So whether it's true or not, we'll we'll see it come out in the end. During the season, probably after the season. So his date arrives and of course he's excited about it. Um now with this particular girl that he's going out with, and she's really pretty as well, um, is that she is a little bit more. She's assertive. She's very assertive. She's very straightforward. Um, and Alexia is looking like, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I don't want you to go out. Now, you know, she was definitely not feeling this, her, her dude going on this date. So let's talk about this date. And um, he was definitely excited to be on this date because, of course, he said being in a relationship for 14 years, he haven't dated in a long time. And, you know, Kai, which is who this young lady is, she was asking him, are you a cheater? He says, no, I'm not a cheater. Are you? No. I mean, it was pretty basic. Um, if she kissed him, would you like it? And he was like, yeah, he didn't lie about it. So, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting where these two uh stand in regards to whether he would see you know her again or not because we don't get an answer to that this week but before we even get to that part let's talk about after the date because by the time he gets of course back home she's waiting on him asking him how did his date go and he was talking about how well it went. And then I guess because she was asking too many questions, 
he was getting irritated and just threw out there. See, that's why, you know, I see that, you know, she's what you're not. And that's why I enjoyed my date. And I'm like, oh, that's not good. And that didn't sit well with Alexia as well. Now, my thing is, you've only been on this date with Kai probably for about an hour. You've been with Lexia for 14 years. So you're going to compare somebody you just met and barely know to somebody that you've been with for a decade and almost a half. Seriously. And, of course, that didn't sit well with her. And I don't blame her. You know, how are you going to, somebody that's basically a stranger, you pretty much going to throw that in my face when I irritate you with a few questions, right? So, yeah, she had to lead the scene on that one. She was pissed off. She was not happy. And there's no way he should have triangulated her like that. Yeah, I mean, like he said, maybe it's fresh and new, but you don't throw that up in your girlfriend's face. That wasn't cool. That was not a, you know, that wasn't a good move on his part. That didn't look too good, Darian. So, yeah, I, I, I'm wondering how the tables are going to be turned when it's her turn to go, you know. And it seemed like he was like, okay, fine, you know, whatever. And then the thing is, he mentioned that Kai is one of those girls that would be perfect for him being an entertainer. What does that mean? I don't know, but mm, okay. So it's now time for them uh, also to have a conversation with Dr. Nicole. And she brought it up. Alexa, Alexia, you know, told Dr. Nicole, look, this man had nerve to compare me to somebody he barely even know. And I don't think that was cool. So I'm glad she brought it up. We didn't get an answer to what he's going to do about Kai. But Let's move into Jessica and Eric. So now Jessica and Eric, they have been dating for four years. He is an ex-NFL player, and he's trying to adjust to that life after being in the uh, professional sport. And Jessica is just adjusting to Eric being fully committed. Now, the couple has definitely been battling some issues from day one. And the two are definitely not on the same page about when the couple even was official. So, I mean, they definitely look cute together. He's a pro, you know, he's a, a professional athlete. And, you know, of course, you know, she met him. Now, let's talk about how she met him. Because this is a conversation, um, especially with him being, you know, in sports, this is a conversation that came up with the lady, the young lady that he went out on a date, Rachel. But um, I will say one thing before I even jump into that hefty subject. She's extremely insecure about her position in his life. And there's one particular reason why, and you guys probably picked up on it if you watched that episode. And that is exactly how they met. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but let's talk about his date that he's about to have with Rachel. So she's definitely just on pins and needles about all of this. She's not happy about the fact that he's going on the date. He's definitely happy about the fact he's going on the date. And I mean, he's smiling and she's in from ear to ear, even got his little leopard shirt on, just fitting his muscles in the right places or whatever. But, um, Rachel, does show up and she's she's pretty she's a pretty girl and um that didn't sit well with when she came there and of course uh eric opened that door and jessica saw who his date was uh yeah her insecurities went to a all-time high because she was a pretty, she is a pretty girl, you know, and she even get went to the point because even though Dr. Nicole said no rules, no boundaries, she still tried to get him a curfew. And um, he was like, shoot, I'm a grown man, <laughs> I don't have a curfew. And she was like, no, you better, you know what time you need to be up in here. You don't be out there. And I'm like, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, I don't know if she just said that just for the drama of it all, but she definitely wanted to make sure that this man come back at a decent hour. And that's the thing that Dr. Nicole said. That's why she took the rules and the boundaries off because she didn't want folks doing something because somebody else told them to. She want them to make decisions based on how they feel being in the situation. So if you go outside of that, that's on you. You got to deal with that. And it's not you telling me what to do. It's you have to make that decision and the choice yourself. And one of them choices was he was definitely looking at Rachel's butt when he uh, when they were walking into dinner or whatever. Now, she was another one that asked about cheating because she definitely uh, is not about to have that in the next relationship she's been in. She's been in a situation where... Um, you know, she's been cheated on and she don't want to go into anything else like that. And when she asked him, which is the biggest thing about probably why uh, Jessica is so insecure about her position in the relationship is how they met. They met because they were in a cheating type relationship. And when you start on, start off on BS, sometimes it ends up exactly how you started it. So if she felt that, you know, we started this relationship by cheating, is it possible I could get cheated on with, with him or by him with someone else? And that possibility is there. You know, you teach people how to treat you. So if you already taught them in the beginning, it was okay to do it this way. And I mean, I'm not going to say universally because there are different circumstances for everybody. But that was definitely something that he put on the table, um, you know, with uh, Rachel. And, you know, she took it with a grain of salt. But now Dr. Nicole also asked Eric, you know, um, what did he want to do? Did he want to meet, you know, go out with this girl again? And he said, no, just give me somebody else. The thing is, at this point, that didn't sit well because I think she just want him to make a decision, meaning Jessica to just, just don't date anybody, but that's part of the process. He signed up for this. You signed up for this. So if you really didn't want to do this, this is something that y'all should have discussed ahead of time. It's the same thing I said on temptation Island. If you don't want to test your relationship, don't do that type of show. <clears throat> Excuse me. You don't know what could come from that. So part of put a ring on it is dating other people. And because of the fact of how they met and the foundation of how their relationship started, it started, they were in a cheating relationship. He admitted he was sleeping with or being with several different people at the same time. And she was one of them. So of course, she's going to feel that that foundation is unstable because Hey, if I was able to do it with him, who's to say he's not able, you know, wouldn't do it with somebody else on me now? That's something to to consider. And of course, she was emotional about that. But, you know, the thing is, she's going to have to think and choose what she's going to do for herself. You know, I mean, whether she wants to stay in this who knows? They might turn this whole thing around. We got a long season ahead. This is just episode one. But maybe this is a situation that they may be able to turn it around. Maybe he'll see what uh, she has in him. Maybe she'll see something different because she got to go on a date too. So we'll see what happened with all of these couples in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.